So some of these we're going to see where we have the log base B of A equals log base B of C. Of course, these would be numbers. But notice, if the bases are the same, then we just don't need to worry about the log or the base. We just end up with A equals C because the two logs cancel out. And that's where this came from. Sorry, that's a, that's a C. Now there are a couple more rules you guys are going to need to know for this section. And the first one here is this, this is considered the product rule because when we add these two logs with the same bases, it's going to equal a log with the same base, but now it's going to be the product of what they are of, the X times the y in this case. So it's a rule that you guys are going to need to remember for this particular section. Otherwise, you may end up doing some things wrong. For example, some people make this the log base b of x plus y because we've got x plus y, right? But that would be incorrect on this. Uh, it's really the x times the y. Another rule is the quotient rule, so if that's the product rule, naturally we would be dividing the x and y. Something like this. And that would come from a log base b. Again, it doesn't matter what that base is of x. And But now we're going to be subtracting the other log base b, same base, but of y. So when we add the two logs with the same base and we multiply it, now that we're subtracting, we're going to be dividing. And then finally, we've got the power rule for the logs. So that's log base b of x to the power of y. This one is a little bit different. There's no addition or subtraction involved. There is, however, multiplication. So notice all that happened is we took that y and moved it into the front and multiplied it by the log base b of x. Now the proof for these, I have videos on YouTube, which you guys can watch. I don't know that you guys would or want to, but they kind of prove why these rules are true for any base at any time. So uh, give the exact solution and approximate the solution to four decimal places. Well, hmm. yeah, this one, this one isn't quite like that stuff, but it still is a... Uh, it's going to end up being a logarithmic equation. Specifically right now, it's an exponential. So let's change it to a logarithmic form. So that would be the log. It's a base 5, and it's of the answer, which was 5.6, is going to equal the exponent, which was 3x right there, right? Now, the difference on these ones is before it was just, it would just equal x. Now what we're going to do, though, is since x has a coefficient, we're going to have to divide both sides by 3, right? And cancel out those 3s. And then we've solved for x. So the exact solution would be, well, this, which kind of looks like garbage the way I have it written, so maybe you've done it a little bit more pretty. If we want to approximate this thing, then we just plug it into our calculators, right? Of course, we may have to use the change of base stuff. So this would be the log, I'm using common logs for some reason, but if you want to, you can use natural logs. So log of 5.6 divided by the common log of 5. And would that equal x, and then would you multiply it by 3? Yeah, so no, that we had, would have to solve that first, because now it's a complex fraction, and then we'll take that and divide that by 3. So what does that give us? That is... 1.07042 and then yeah we would divide that by 3 which would be and this is again the approximation to four decimal places 0 0.3568 so the exact value is boxed there in purple the approximation is boxed there in gold now it looks like the book wants it 
more in this type of form right here. So working from this form, right, this would be log of 5.6 over log of 5 divided by 3. And now if we evaluated this using fractions, we would end up with the log of 5.6 divided by 3 times the log of 5. And I, I want to say this is how they want it in the book, which would, I guess would be a more simplified form of the exact value.